You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. In today's world, we are all so very busy, rushing everywhere we go. It seems as though we have become a fast-paced society that really values privacy and independence with many having the attitude of only taking care of their own. However, there's an important segment of our society that works every day to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of others, especially the frail, vulnerable, and elderly. This is your nation's CNAs, or Certified Nursing Assistants. It is the caring and compassionate hands of CNAs that feed those who can't feed themselves, that bathe those who cannot bathe themselves. CNAs do for others what they can't do for themselves. CNAs help people live the best life they can with whatever time and abilities they have left. Thank you to the Citrus County Chronicle for originally featuring this fantastic story. One hot summer day in August of 2020, Michelle Fisher, a 15-year CNA, was getting ready to go through a McDonald's drive through in Inverness, Florida, when she spotted an elderly man standing in front of the store, looking a bit confused. So being the awesome CNA that she is, Michelle asked the man how he was doing. He replied that he wasn't doing well, that his car had been stolen and repainted, and that he couldn't get through on the phone to call home. Michelle could sense that something wasn't quite right and that this man really needed help. When she tried to call the number he had been dialing, it wouldn't go through. So she asked the man for his driver's license. She looked at it, saw that he lived in Orlando, and she called the phone number with an Orlando area code. The man's very worried wife answered the phone. Her husband had been missing for two days. There was a statewide silver alert issued for him, and he had not taken his medication for diabetes in those two days. His wife was homebound and didn't even know where Inverness or Citrus County, Florida was. The man who had a memory disorder had left his home to run a routine errand, but got confused and kept driving. In Citrus County, he left his car and started walking, and then he couldn't find his car or call home. Michelle called the sheriff's office and asked them to send paramedics. They found that the man's blood sugar was dangerously high. At the hospital, the emergency room doctor told Michelle that the man wouldn't have survived much longer. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office gave Michelle an award for her actions. But to Michelle, it was just part of her training as a certified nursing assistant and part of her calling. Michelle humbly states, I believe that everybody has a purpose, and this is the purpose God gave me. Those of us in the medical field are always looking, always attentive. Even in the grocery store, I'm always looking to see if I can help the elderly. Michelle's a 15-year career CNA and it has revolved around caring for patients in long-term care facilities or nursing homes. After working in several facilities, she found hospice and began to care for people nearing the end of life. 
She has worked for Vitas Healthcare, formerly Hospice of Citrus County, for more than three years now. Providing care to hospice patients in long-term care facilities gives Michelle the ability to spend more time with them and it takes some of the pressure off of the nursing home staff. Michelle states, daily I pray and ask God to help me. Even if I don't know what to say, I can give all the love, care, and compassion that I have. I've learned there is closure in doing all I can so I can move on to help the next person. Michelle lives and works by the Vetus values. She said, our values state that patients and families come first. We take care of each other. We'll do our best today and even better tomorrow. And we're proud to make a difference. If you work in the medical field, you have to be teachable. I always want to learn more, to do better, and to put my patients first. Michelle Fisher, your story both inspires and humbles me. The fact that you took the time to inquire about a stranger standing in front of McDonald's on your own personal time is such a kind and generous act. It is obvious that you not only talk the talk, but you walk the walk. You are the definition of a selfless and professional CNA. Thank you for your dedication and love to your fellow humankind, especially the sick and elderly. I would like everyone to join me in honoring and appreciating CNA hero, Michelle Fisher.